how nebulol produces vasodilatation even it is a beta blocker beta blockers like propranolol timolol metoprolol and etanolol and so many drugs all these are the drugs ending with the suffix ol ol they may be either selective or non selective all these drugs are acting mainly on the heart but nebulol is one of the drug which acts on both heart as well as vascular smooth muscle nebulol is a selective beta 1 blocker so it is going to acting on the beta 1 receptors which are located on the heart thereby it is going to decrease the rate and force of contraction because beta 1 receptors are responsible for the increase in the rate and force of contraction of the heart the nebulol is blocking this beta 1 receptor it decreases the rate as well as force of contraction of the heart this results in the decreased cardiac output which may cause the decrease in the blood pressure in this way nebulol decreases the blood pressure by acting on the heart so this is an indirect effect caused by the nebulol but how the nebulol can produce vasodilatation it is decrease in the blood pressure not by vasodilatation by this mechanism but still it can produce a vasodilatation by another mechanism so what is that mechanism for nebulol mediated vasodilatation nebulol inhibits the beta 1 receptor at the same time it releases the nitric oxide this nitric oxide can act on vascular smooth muscle where it activates the gonadal cyclase into its active form this gonadal cyclase gc is then converts the gtp into cyclic gmp one of the important secondary messenger now this cyclic gmp can convert the mlck myosin light chain kinases into the myosin light chain kinases phosphate which is an inactive form actually mlck is going to be activated to mlck active form by calcium calmodulin complex so this complex is actually required for the activation of the mlck thereby contraction of the vascular smooth muscle but here the release of cyclic gmp will causes the the formation of inactive mlck phosphate results in the relaxation of the vascular smooth muscle in this way nitric oxide inhibits the contraction thereby it produces a relaxation in the vascular smooth muscle so now nebulol is a beta blocker as well as a vasodilator so this is one of the drug can be used in the treatment of the hypertension so it acts on both beta receptors as well as the vascular smooth muscle for more useful resources please visit egpad.com and for interesting articles please visit egpad.com/blog and for conceptual questions egpad.com/questions thank you for watching this video